when you sort of step back and look at what's been going on these last few months, it's in, it, it, what do you what do you think in these sort of quieter moments? <laughs> Um, it's all been an incredible experience because it's been such a whirlwind because it's all happened so quickly. With um, Random House first contacted me in October last year, early December the, the e-book came out and now April 25th the paperback is coming out. So I mean it's still, all just happened so quickly, I've just had to take it in stride and try and get on with schoolwork at the same time. And. Um uh, NBC, you've been on NBC in uh, in the States. Yeah, I mean, that was really exciting, See, like seeing myself on TV for the first time and then getting all these messages from my fans over in the States saying, I just saw you on the news today. I, you know, and they're all, they're all there saying to me, you know, I've read your book and then you're on TV and it's really exciting. Can you comprehend what's been going on? No, not really. I mean, I, when, when it all happened at first, I kind of thought, this isn't going to feel real until I've got a copy of the paperback in my hands. And then when my editor sent me like my advanced copy of the paperback, I was just there like so excited, like the cover was all embossed, my picture was on the back and you know, it, it wasn't like an electronic copy because I was so used to seeing my work up online that you know, seeing it in paper is quite a substantial difference. I, I was going to ask you, I mean, what what did you think when you first saw this paperback? I was so excited because, I mean, I love the cover and I love the way it's embossed and stuff, but it's just the fact that it is in paperback now because when I was self-publishing, it didn't feel like it didn't feel to me a lot different when the ebook was officially out, published by Random House. But then having the paperback to actually hold is so surreal. <laughs> And it must have been a wonderful moment, actually, when it was handed to you for the first time. Yeah, because I mean, um, I had I my mum knew that the that the paperback was going to come in the post like any day, and then she sent me a text in school saying your books arrived, and I couldn't wait to get home just to just to see it. And the envelope was just sat there waiting to be opened, and I just sort of tore it open really excitedly and was like, Mum, look, the cover's embossed, and it's it's so lovely and thick and. It's in paper. And that moment when you walk into a bookshop in Newport and you see, you see your book in the uh, on the shelf. I can't even fathom what that's going to be like. It's, I mean, I think the the weirdest thing for me would be if I walked into somewhere like Waterstones or Smiths, and I see someone picking up my book, like you know, just sort of looking at it, even, and I'll just think, oh my god, you know, that, that's my book. Tempted to go and tell them? Yeah. <laughs> um, your publishers are, are calling you a media sensation. <laughs> um, quite flattering, I think. Um, but I mean, I have, because I had quite a big presence on Wattpad where I was posting my stories. I mean, I've got like over 40,000 fans on there now, and there's so many people reading my book. and. Um, you know, I had all the blogs and stuff. I had a Twitter, I had a Tumblr, I had a Facebook page. So I was kind of trying to spread myself out as much as I could. I just want to ask you um, about, you know, how you've how you've done this because it has been um, an incredible story. Um, can you uh, take me back to how did it how did it all begin for you? Um, well, with the writing, I started writing when I had a laptop to start comprehensive school to do my homework on. Um, and obviously there was Microsoft Word on there and I just thought, oh, I'll write some stories because I'd always liked doing that. Um, and eventually I started writing, you know, really, really long books that were, you know, they were practically novels. And then when I found Wattpad in 2010, um, I started posting The Kissing Booth on there. and. I mean, it just took off because, I mean, I only started it because I was looking for something to read and everything that I found was, you know, it was vampires and werewolves and fantasy. And I just wanted like regular high school romance, you know, none of the mythological creatures and stuff. So in the end, I just wrote the book that I wanted to read and I couldn't, I couldn't even begin to understand the number of reads and the number of comments and stuff that I was getting because I mean, it was something I'd just done for fun as a hobby. And there were people out there who thought it was a really great story and that they really enjoyed reading it as well. And so 
give me a, a flavour of what it was like. You, when did you, when were you posting the kissing booth, and when did you first get a sense that it might actually be a success? Well, I started posting it in April two thousand eleven. And I'd sort of update every couple of days um, just to keep my... I didn't want to leave it too long between every time I uploaded a new chapter just in case people lost interest. I would tend to upload late in the evening sort of because I was aware that I had a lot of fans over in the US. So I was kind of aware of the time differences. Um, and then at one point I posted a particularly big cliffhanger chapter and... The next morning I woke up to about three, four hundred emails of comments on my story just on that one chapter because everyone was just, you know, they were gobsmacked and they just wanted more as soon as possible. And at that point I kind of thought, wow, you know, you guys really like this story. And how many people were responding to your postings? Um, I've, I mean, I've tried to read through all the comments that I get on the kissing booth. And I've still got about 4,000 odd unread mails of comments on it left in my inbox because I just don't have the time to go through them. But I mean, it was the most commented on book on the whole of the Wattpad website. And I had about 40,000 comments and, and they were all positive. I mean, there was the odd one that might crop up every now and again that was a bit negative. But I mean, I'm not, if these people don't like my story, then I'm not going to make them read it. So the fact that they've got to, two chapters before the end before saying, I don't like this book. You know, it doesn't bother me. Did, did you feel that you, that you were occupying a slightly parallel universe upstairs in your room with this dialogue going on with thousands of people across the Atlantic about a book that you <laughs> were writing essentially for yourself? It must have been very exciting as things <laughs> evolved. Um, I, it became quite exciting but I mean at first it was just something I was doing for fun and when I saw Wattpad and I saw there were other people like me out there posting their work I thought I'd give it a go and I never had much confidence in what I was writing until the kissing booth became so popular um, but I mean it was it was just kind of something that became a part of my life and that I got on with so it would be a case of maybe setting aside that bit of homework just to upload, you know, take 10 minutes to upload a new chapter and send a message out on Twitter and Facebook and everything and then go back to doing homework. And then, you know, checking every few hours to see what comments I was getting. 